Hello and welcome to Plop One Productions. My name is Soma and today we will be talking about modulation. Shout out to a Reddit user called Cubis Guitar for suggesting this topic. Modulation is what got me into PCB Rack. You can achieve organic variations with these changes in voltage and there are many modules dedicated to it. If it has a CV input, it can be modulated. Remember that everything is voltage and therefore everything can be used to modulate our parameters. The first type of modules that we will be talking about are LFOs or low frequency oscillators. PCB Rack has a wide variety of LFOs from weight table LFOs to multiple outputs to really creative ones like orbitons from Shebang modules that simulates gravity and outputs particle position as CV. I've been using wave table LFO from BCB because of its wave table position encoder that lets you change the wave shape and have really interesting results. There is also OCT by Instro, which outputs a triangle wave with eight different outputs that have different rate. Let's use our scope and this merge module to visualize it. There is also 8FO. Similar to OCT, it has 8 outputs, but these are different in the phase. We can change the waveform, the scale, the rate, and these parameters have CV inputs, so they can be modulated themselves. Let's check it out using the scope. Other modules, like Tesseract by Axioma, have really creative ways to create variation. In this case, we have a Tesseract represented in a 2D plane, and we can change the velocity at which these points move in space, which then will be converted to CV. One of my favorite modules is Tidal Modulator, from Audible Instruments. I think it deserves a video on its own, but let's review it quickly. If we want to use it on a, as an LFO, we have to put it in green mode using this button. We can then change the frequency, the shape, the slope, and my favorite parameter, the smoothness. This can create amazing results that feel organic and interesting. Here I have an example using Caudal. My favorite LFO that has 12 different outputs, a speed encoder, an energy encoder, and a button to change the model of our waves. We are going to be using 8vert, which is an attenuverter, in order to be able to hear the difference of the patch before and after modulation. The patch itself is pretty simple. It uses permutation that outputs CV and a random gate. It uses a sampler and hold and the gate input to select a note. Then fence constricted into a range and finally a quantizer to snap it to a scale. The node goes to VESEC, a complex oscillator that has many different parameters that can be modulated using the CV attenuverters. Let's listen to the patch. Let's open up the attenuverter. This patch is also using the Priatus, a distortion model for, from Volt. It will be also modulated by Caldo. It's a really simple patch, but it now has some nice variation and an organic feeling. Another technique we can use are sequencers and ADSR modules. In this example, we're using a clock and two different sequencers, addr Seek by Boh Audio and Digital Sequencer by Box Glitch. Both of these modules will be outputting CV and Digital Sequencer will, will also be outputting a gate signal. Using these signals, we will be modulating the chord note and the type from diatonic CV. Basal will be our sound source and size by Instro will be our ADSR module. 
that is going to control the VCA, but we'll also be modulating the parameters mod 1 and 2 from Basel. In the lower part, we have Pico drums by Erika Synth. And this module has a CV input that can be used to control many parameters. In this case, it will be controlling the sample used in each hit. Let's listen to it in context. This patch is a really simple drum beat with a pre-selected chord progression, but it has a glitchy feeling that doesn't get all quickly done thanks to this automation. Remember that everything is voltage, not only LFOs and sequencers. We can also use noise. In this example, we will be using Noise Pletora from Befaco to add even more variation to our signal. In this case, we are also going to be using knobs by Bolt as a CV mixer in order to mix a sine wave, a triangle wave and a square wave along with noise from noise plethora. We have knobs in the unipolar mode and it's already connected to the scope. Let's open up the inverter and see how our signals mix up. We can also apply effects to our signals, like distortion. In this case, wave shaping using Atru by Instruo. Let's connect it to our scope and open up the Teniverter. We have a really interesting wave with lots and lots of variation. Let's open up the Teniverter. A new module that came last week is Notch by Pat Set. This module takes our signal and attenuates it with the parameter selected using those encoders and after the trigger, Notch. Let's see it in action. Finally, I have a patch ready with some of the techniques we have seen in this video. We have PWM clock as our clock and gate source, micrograph to control our drum beats. This module has patterns that can be selected with the map X and Y functions. We are going to modulate them. We also have energy by geodesics and its momentum C and M are going to be modulated. Again, ADDR seek is going to be selecting the chord note and type. Our envelope is going to be modulating bleak parameters, specifically pulse width and the wave. And the ADSR module is going to be modulated, especially the attack and the sustain. As our modulation source, we have caudal at its core. SNH8, which is a sample and hold module with eight different in and ins and outs. Noise by VCV in order to add even more variation, knobs to mix it all, and 8 vert to be able to hear the patch before and after the modulation. Let's listen to it. Now let's open up the inverters and listen to it with, with the modulation. That's all we have for today. If you like the video, remember to like, subscribe, share and leave a comment if you want to make a video on another topic you like. Thanks for watching.